For over two decades, he was as much a fixture at the University of Maryland as any of the buildings on campus. However, Gary Williams is now the former head basketball coach at Terrapin Nation. And the question is, what can he find to scratch that competitive itch? We'll talk about that and a whole lot more. I'm Mark Gray, and I'm in your face with a former Maryland basketball coach, next. Is there enough uh, rounds of golf in the day to satisfy that competitive itch that you guys who are driven uh, for so many years to get rid of? I don't know. That's why there's got to be other things. I think uh, you can get tired of playing golf just like anything else. So I look forward to doing some other things and um, trying to find out what that is. You know, that that's the excitement right now for me, just seeing where I'm going to go from uh, here. Have you been away long enough to miss it? And if there is something that you miss about it, what is it? I'll miss it in October. I, I'll miss the practices. I'll miss the, uh, the when the referee tosses the ball up for the game. But there's a lot of things you won't miss. But um, we'll see if uh, I can find something that has a little passion in it for me that um, can make up for uh, missing the practices and the games. Having coached in Columbus, can you talk about what that community must be going through right now? Uh, lived there for three years. My daughter still lives there, and. Um, it's, it's just different. In other words, Ohio State football is the franchise in the state, and um, it is sacred to a lot of people, especially the older people there in Columbus. And to have to go through this, I really feel sorry for, for everybody involved. It's so hard to run a, a major college football or basketball program now that that's where a lot of the pressure, the strain comes in. And a lot of times, you know, you have to make some tough decisions and you have to make them quickly about what's right and what's wrong. And there's so many gray areas involved with the NCAA now that it's very difficult, but I just hope it gets straightened out because there's, there's so many good people connected with Ohio State. And, you know, like people like Archie Griffin who won two Heisman trophies. He, he was there when I was there and just, just a great individual. And I, I don't want to see him have to go through that, especially with Ohio State football. As one who had to rebuild a program, different circumstances, but rebuild it, what do you think some of the challenges they're going to face, both, you know, reputation-wise as well as, you know, potential loss of scholarships, the whole bit? Well, I think they, they have to understand that they can do it. You know, that it's, it's doable. You know, that they can do it. Now, who knows what hits they're going to take from the NCAA in terms of scholarships or whatever. So you have all that to deal with. But that's too good of a football program uh, to ever go away. You know, Ohio State will be back and it'll, it'll be a very good football program. First time I met you, you beat Georgia Tech with Joe Smith. Enjoy the rest of your life, Coach. Hey, thanks. It will be strange coming to the University of Maryland and not seeing Gary Williams on the sidelines, but you can bet that the fiery competitor that he is, he will most certainly find something to do with his time, and it just might be here on the golf course. I'm Mark Gray. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you when I'm in your face next time. This has been a presentation of Sports Groove TV and Heritage Sports Radio Network, the voice of HBCU Sports.